Hello students, welcome back to my channel Light Up Knowledge and very warm welcome to today's video. I hope you are doing great. In today's video, we will cover the type 1 of declarative sentences. I have already given you a basic introduction to declarative sentences and all these videos are under the playlist of sentences in English language. Now without any further ado, let's get started. There are two types of declaratives or declarative sentences. Today we will discuss type 1. Type 1 of declaratives or declarative sentences is according to the sentence structure and the word order. And type 2 will be discussed in the upcoming video. So, according to the sentence structure and the word order, the declaratives or declarative sentences are divided into two parts that is simple declaratives and the second one is compound declaratives. Simple declaratives. Simple declaratives have simple sentence structure. And what is that simple sentence structure? It consists of a subject and a predicate. So, simple declaratives have simple sentence structure and they consist of subject and predicate, just simply subject and predicate without any modifier, adverbial, etc. Have a look at this set of examples over here. The first one is, my dog is sick. It is giving us a basic information. The dog is sick. The second one is pizza is the best. Pizza is the best. It is giving us a simple information. Similarly, Sam is smart. The next type of declarative sentence according to type 1 is compound declaratives. Compound declaratives join two related phrases with a comma. So, what it will do? It will join two connected phrases. Okay, put together something like that. Okay, phrases is a group of word that does not contain a finite verb, right? So, if you haven't, uh, you know, have come across phrases, you can see uh, under the playlist uh, of phrases in English language that's available on my channel and I'll make the link available in the description box, right? So, a uh, Declarative, a compound declarative will join two related phrases means two connected phrases and those connected phrases with, will be separated with a comma as well as a conjunction and that conjunction could be and yet or but etc. And these phrases can also be united by a semicolon. So, instead of comma, semicolon could be added and it could be accompanied by words like uh, like besides, however, therefore, etc. So, therefore, compound declaratives join two related phrases either with a comma and a conjunction or with a semicolon and accompanied with words like besides, however, and therefore. Have a look at this example here. He wanted to go to the grocery store, but she wanted to go to the cinema. So, here two clauses as well as two phrases are joined, right? So, to the grocery store is a phrase, right? And then a conjunction is added, but she wanted. That's a clause, right? Again, to go to the cinema is, is what is a phrase, right? So, a compound declarative is joined with either a comma and a conjunction, or a semicolon and words accompanied like besides however or therefore. Yes guys that was all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you found it useful. If you did do like share and subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to press that bell icon so that you can get regular updates of the videos that I upload. All the important links will be linked down in the description box. Until then keep learning and keep growing. <laughs>